Hello everybody, Kai's 23 here, and welcome back to Power Watching Simulator. What the heck? Sorry, that sounded weird. So, we're going to continue on with the skate park. Because this place is a disgusting mess, and it's unfortunately the only one that's unlocked right now. I know there's a lot more that has been recently, like, added and stuff. But we got to get through this one first. Apparently, this is like one of the biggest ones in the game right now. I like that they keep adding more updates. It's really nice. Problem is, is I just never have enough time in a day to get through everything I want. Because I got this game I want to record. There's other games I want to start recording, but it'd take a little bit longer to get those ones going. Because I haven't fully set them up yet. And then there's old series I still need to finish. But I just, I don't know, I just haven't had the will to go back to them yet. It will eventually. Wait. God, seriously? Oh, that goes all the way down. Okay. Drink, you gotta move to that side. Oh, I already got that, really. I'm pressing F. There's one that I've seen a preview for that I really want to get to. It's called The Driller. Also, why am I going extremely slow? That was weird. It looks so cool. And I really want to get there. But, in order to do that, we got to get through this stuff first. Uh, okay, you know what? My finger's starting to cramp. Let's start on the auto. I get the city's called Muckingham and stuff, but I really want to know what goes on here, why it's so dirty. I also kind of want to know why this is the best nozzle out of all of them. That's a separate wall? Kind of go around the outside first, and then we'll come inside. Let's try this. Let's see if this works. The only thing this really doesn't get up is like the graffiti. It gets up the mud really well, but the graffiti not so much. Now I know I can use soap and stuff, but I kind of want to save so I can get the professional washer. And we need like, what is it, 1200 or something like that to get the professional washer? More. I think, remember, I remember last time saying we weren't going to be able to get it even if we finish this one. They updated the ladder physics, because I can no longer slip down it. Let's get this wall done. Oh, it goes all the way over here.
Man, look at that thick mud. Eesh. Wait. Uh. Okay, I do have an extension on. <laughs> I didn't know if I did or not. Let's get this railing done. Like, I hear. So, I do remember hearing this one was big, but it's not the worst one to do. Apparently, the worst one to do is, like, coming up after, like, almost soon after this one. I remember seeing a lot of memes about it, so. The treehouse, if you know what I'm talking about. I heard that one. That one's rough. But I guess we'll see when we get there. Man. That is some caked on mud. Like, was it thrown there and then let the dry in the sun or something? Oh, look at that. Oh, that's cool. I don't know, it always gets me every time I play. Like, oh man, look at all that dirt coming off. It looks so good. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. I am slowly sliding down because of the mud. <laughs> Alright. I think we have to go get the ladder to get up above. I will say for the floor, we're going to be using the white nozzle. I have a feeling that one's actually going to work. I want to get around the outside first. Probably going too fast. Sweet. So normally during this game, you know, we talk about talk about different things. So I'm kind of curious. It's now 2022. It's been 2022 for a little bit. What are some game? Okay. What are some games you guys are looking forward to that are coming out this year? Like for my birthday, I got Dying Light 2. I'm absolutely loving it. I will say there won't be a series on the channel because I got it for PlayStation. Apologies. But I'm actually kind of glad I got it for the PlayStation because I have a friend who wants to get it. And they're asking questions about it and then asking when they get it if I can join them and help them out and stuff. So I get to see how that is. Maybe eventually I'll get it for the computer. But for right now, me. Nah. And then there's Horizon Forbidden West. I didn't care for the first one as much, for some reason. I don't know, just something about it irked me. I still have the save file, I should probably go back and finish the game at some point. Like, I never finished Ghost, Ghost of Tsushima and stuff. Like, there's a lot of games I should go finish, but I haven't... What was that flashing over there? Um, what else is... Rainbow Six Extraction actually looks kind of good. Sorry, I'm just kind of going with the games I remember seeing recently. Um, I just haven't really looked a whole lot. I'm not going to lie. The indie game Choo Choo Charles actually looks really good. I've been watching the devlogs from the guy. The game looks really good and it's shaping up to be a really cool looking game. 
I cannot wait to play it. That is one that I will definitely be playing on my channel. Uh, what's coming out later this year? I'm, I'm, I can't really think of the games right off the top of my head. If you were to show me them, like, oh yeah, I remember that, I remember that. Uh, Final Fantasy 16, I think, is coming out this year or next year. I can't remember. I know the Final Fantasy... I mean, how in the heck did you make a slope out of concrete? Okay. I know Final Fantasy Strangers something... I played the demo for that. I don't know, that felt really weird. I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be one I get into play. Um, I actually just downloaded uh, Lost Ark. Game's okay. I'm not a huge fan of top-down games, but that's one that I'm going to try and get a shot. Ain't dead. <laughs> Was I expecting that? But it's one I'm going to give a shot just to see. It is free, so... I mean, like, why not? There's, a. Uh, let's see here, what's coming out? I'm trying to think. I will say, Pokemon I've kind of lost interest in, so I'm probably not going to get Legends of Arceus, no matter what people say. It just doesn't look good to me. And I'm not saying, oh, the graphics because of the meme. No, it's just, it doesn't look fun to me. I know a lot of people are going to argue with me about that. My personal choice. It just does not look fun to me. And said that they're making not making any more Metal Gears because I'm I want a new Metal Gear or remake of them. Like I would love to have Peace Walker on current gen consoles, even if it has the graphics of the PSP version. That was probably my favorite Metal Gear. I would love to have that one back. My PSP is a piece of crap. I've gone through a few of them. None of them work anymore because they're so old. Of course, Sony's not making the tech to make them anymore, so. Ugh. Are you kidding me? That's all we've got done. Oh, boy. Let's see here. What else can I think of off the top of my head for games that's coming out? Like, I struggled at thinking about games this year. I just can't really think of any. Like, I haven't really seen a whole, whole lot that looks good to me. Let's see here. Metro just right along the bottom there. This isn't part of that wall, but... Oh, that's another one. Witch Queen. That comes out soon for me. Seriously. At the time of this recording, it has not come out yet. I'm tempted to try and make a video on it, but I know a lot of people are going to do it day one. I probably won't be able to do a day one video. But, we'll see. Just 
just because I really want to start using the glaive. That looks like a really cool weapon to start. Huh. Hmm. So yeah, if there's anything you guys suggest in the comments, let me know. Or you can think of in the comments. Think of, post them in the comments. Holy crap. I don't know why I struggled with that. I've been awake now for about... Mm, five hours at least. Should not have that much issue thinking of how to talk. Oh, whoops, I missed a bunch down there. Now, some of my old series, we can talk about this a little bit. There is some old series I do plan on bringing back. Okay, at some point. Like, um, what you call it there? Uh, Dimension Hopper, Minecraft. I do plan on bringing that back. I've just had issues, let's say, with Minecraft recently. No, let's just go around the top real quick. Like, I would, you know, I had a pack set up, loaded in, tested the world, made sure everything worked. Cool. You know, it was really cool. Came back. I was going to record. You know, I tested it, went off to do some other stuff. I closed out of the world. Came back a little bit later. Went to go load the world. And it would not load. Something about data packs. I kid you not when I was just so upset by that. Like, I created multiple worlds trying to get the stupid thing to work. Nada. I googled it. I tried figuring everything out to save the world. Nope. Nothing. So now, every time I make a Minecraft world, I have to test two things. One make sure it actually loads and works and doesn't stutter. Two, if I can reload it. Honestly, I think 1.16.5 was a mistake with putting data packs in. Like, I get the appeal of them. I get that. But for mods, it does not seem like a good idea. But then again, that's modder's choice. Same thing with the whole fabric versus forge versus something else. I know there's like four or five different Minecraft mod loaders now. I'll stick with my forge, thanks. Holy crap. But, I think I do have a good pack now, so that will be coming back as soon as I can set everything up and test it and make sure. Which I'll probably do that when I when I have free time but not free time to record like if it's loud in the house I can't you know I can't record it'd be too loud or when I have my daughter over you know I don't want to record with her I want to spend time with her and no she won't be appearing on the channel for two reasons one her mother wishes her not to be on here understandable and two, because of the weirdos out there. Again, I don't blame her mom for that one. I understand that completely. I know there's a few other YouTubers who have kids that are kind of like that. You know, they'll, they'll show a body shot, but not the actual face. Understandable. That's fine. Their choice. 
had one point had thought about starting a channel with the daughter. I was like, eh, people would be weird about that. So that's the fact I don't know what to play. Most of her stuff is like the simple little things. Like on Roblox, she plays obbies and stuff. The heck am I missing? There we go. Like, I don't even really let her play video games. She likes playing Minecraft, but she has the school version. So she can't even do mods with me and stuff. Maybe as she gets older, we'll think about it. Buying her her own Minecraft thing. We'll see. Right here again. A lot of it's right along the bottom. There we go. Oops. Figure slipped a bit hard again. Alright, we're almost done with the outside. I didn't take as long as I thought. Ooh, ice cream truck. Even though it's like freezing freaking cold out, I would love some ice cream right now. And I know there's a lot of people with, like, peanut allergies and stuff, but I love taking a scoop of ice cream, not ice cream, of peanut butter, putting it in a microwave-safe dish, microwaving it for 30 seconds, and then pouring that warm peanut butter over the top of my ice cream. That is probably some of the best things, best dessert I've ever tasted. And I'm talking, like, where I am, they sell Reese's peanut butter in a jar. So I'll take a scoop of that and just place it over. Oh, it's making me want some, but I don't have any vanilla ice cream. It works best if you use plain ice cream, too. Like, you could probably use, like, a peanut butter fudge ice cream or something. So there is still some ladder issues. Oh. There we go. Last wall. Don't let me jump. You can't- oh, you can jump when you're using this. It wasn't letting me do it. That was weird. I gotta get up top. Ouch. Hey. All right, the walls are done. All right, let's start one section at a time. You know what, this works best if I just press right click and then I don't have to hold it. Stretch out my wrist a little bit. Use this one. My god, this really does work the best. Okay, but we need angle coverage. Oh, 
look at that. Oh. Hey! Oh, let's do the ramp. Hey there, I got one heck of a filthy sidecar if you can fit us in. I can run it up to you if that helps. Like a motorcycle sidecar? There's one thing I know about car three, it's that it likes to be as flat as possible. Are you? Are you stupid? I think this guy's stupid. I don't know. You know, there is one game that I really would love to play for the channel, but I would need more people. I've seen people do, like, solo runs and stuff, but it would be almost impossible for me. GTFO. I would love to play that game with people. Unfortunately, I just don't have perfect people to play with. Like, I have different groups of people I play games with, but no one seems to want to play the same games I do, except Minecraft. <laughs> For the most part. Maybe a little bit of Destiny. I will say I hate the PvP in Destiny. I always prefer PvE-type games. If you haven't noticed from, like, most of my channel content... Oh, the railing's an actual separate thing. I didn't realize that. Alright. Shall we do the floor real quick? Let's start at one... Get stuck in the railing. One side, work our way around. Some of that water is really making me gotta use the bathroom, I will say. But I wanna wait till after the recording to do that. Looks like someone just went around in a circle with a dirt brush and just painted all this. You see that, right? How it kinda looks like there's a circle going around this thing? I'm impatient. Section pieces off, make it easier on myself. Let's take a once over. Let's see if I can do this. It's kind of like the roof of the uh, firehouse there. We're just covered in dirt, but we just kind of had to do a little bit at a time. Might have to come through with more of a fine-tooth comb, but we'll do that when we need to. Oh, that's so good. 
What else should we talk about? Ooh, I know something. Something I've been I've been finding more and more of recently. Webtoons. I'm kind of curious as to how many people read those. Like, I think the one that got me into it was uh, Sweet Home, actually. The one that became a Netflix series? Or, yeah, Netflix series. Haven't watched that yet, I don't know why. But I got reading into that, and one of my friends suggested to read his other works, Bastard. That was pretty good, too. Oh. But then I started reading more and more. Like, right now, um, some of my favorite ones. The Advanced Hero of the Tutorial Tower. That was a good one. Uh. Oh my god. I can't remember the name of it. <laughs> It was a more recent one I found. Basically, a guy goes back, he gets to the end of the world as a solo survivor, and then has to travel back. He travels back in time as like a uh, New Game Plus type thing. Oh, I can't remember what it was called. But that one's really good. Uh, one of the more funny ones that I've been reading recently, The Greatest Estate Developer. Guy gets sent into this, his favorite book series, and he takes over the. Uh, scumbag kid so now he's trying to turn that person's life around by being that person and in order to do that he develops stuff and he gets powers to help him do that that was funny curious as to what some of the other ones that you guys read actually I think I might have mentioned before Shotgun Boy I, I feel like I've talked about this before Shotgun Boy is a really good one same makers as Sweet Home and set in the same universe, because it has some of the same it has one of the same characters in it. He's actually friends of the main character in Shotgun Boy. What are some of the other ones I've been reading? Uh can't think of any more really. I know there's a few others, I just can't think of the names. Oh, I know a recent one that I found was uh, Monochrome. I guess that was actually on uh, Discovery, and then I found it on... It actually gave me a preview for it on, like, Facebook or something. So I checked it out, and that one's pretty cool. Won't spoil that one. That one, you have to read. But it's got some major plot twists. But yeah, webtoons. I actually really like them. And it gets me reading. I, I don't read as much as I used to. I really should. Like, I used to be a hardcore reader. I remember when the fifth Harry Potter book came out. The one that was in blue. I'm, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a while. I've kind of lost interest in Harry Potter. But I remember when that book came out. I want to say it was Goblet of Fire. Might have been Goblet of Fire, Order of Phoenix, whatever the blue book was. It was 800, no, 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 I think it might have been a little over 900 pages. I finished it in four days. Yeah. That's how much I really enjoyed reading. It was more of me and my mom had a competition as who could finish the book first. While I was at school, she would read it. Then when I got home, I took the book, sat in the chair, and just read, and read, and read. It was an absolute blast. Sadly, I just... really hasn't been any books that have caught my attention. I kind of want to go back and finish reading... Or restart, I guess, Lord of the Rings, because I was on the third book, and it just got so boring. Let's describe everything in the greatest detail for five pages. What am I missing? Like, I get that there's spots here and there. Is that literally it? Oh. oh, 
Oh, not gonna lie, that actually kind of scared me. Who <laughs> wasn't prepared for it? Oh, I did that. Ew, it's kind of brown. This side too, most likely. There we go. Making the most out of all of our tools. Oh! This skate park floor is different than the galley floor. Okay, so let's try and get the skate park floor done. My bad. I thought it was all done. There we go. Get the ramp. Quarter pipe. Oh, so for a birthday gift to myself, I actually found on Etsy someone selling copies of inscription cards that they handmade. So I bought myself a pack of them. I think it was like 90 cards or something. I can't wait to get them. They're going to be so freaking cool. Because if you haven't watched Inscription on my channel, you should go do that. I actually really enjoy the game, even though I suck at it. I'm really enjoying it, and I'm so close to beating it. Eh. God, I can't get the song on my head. Uh, how many people know that song, Stacy's Mom? I was making some food earlier, and I was just kind of singing that song, so I started playing it, and now it's just stuck in my head and will not get out. Stacy's Mom has got it going up. Might be showing my age. A lot of people don't know those older classic songs. All they like is the new brand hip hop rap crap. I don't know, I'm not a big fan of rap. I talk to my coworkers, and they're like, oh yeah, this song is really good. And I'm like, huh? Who are these people? How have you not heard of them? They're one of the greatest people of our time. I don't listen to the radio. Get out of here. Nope, never mind. It's a watermelon we're in. Yeah, it's like, I, I don't listen to the radio anymore. When I'm in my car, I have a bunch of music I have downloaded on my phone. So I'll plug that in, turn on my Bluetooth, and listen to that. Or, heck, I'll turn on Spotify. I have a lot more music on Spotify. It's 
and the cat jumping around. Keep hearing stuff. I don't know if I've actually I've ever talked about my cats. I know my one cat has been in a few videos. She'll come sit on the back of my chair. That cat is... Say, does the washer of yours work on hedges? Lord. Her name's Cleo. She's a little gray kitty. And she loves attention. Yeah, that was bright. Like, I'll be sitting in the rocking chair eating dinner. You know, because my daughter takes over the couch. We're not a traditional family. We don't eat at a table usually unless it's a holiday. I know. We're heathens. I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> but my daughter will be sitting on the couch. I'll be sitting in the rocking chair then. And Cat will jump up on my lap. She'll meow at me. And then lay in my lap because I'm trying to eat. So then I can't eat. Last night I was trying to eat ice cream. She... I set my spoon down on the bowl. She heard it cling and jumped up in my lap and came over and started trying to eat my ice cream out of my bowl. I let her have a little bit. It's not going to hurt her. But she's just always about the attention. And it's always the one rocking chair. Our one rocking chair. It's really weird. Okay. And before people get the idea of, like, the old wooden rocking chairs, no, no, no. This is, like, one of those big, soft, cushiony rocking chairs. I actually got it from my grandpa years and years and years ago. He's, unfortunately, no longer with us. Two days before Christmas, we found out that he had passed away a while ago. I want to say it's been two years now. I still miss them. I remember as a kid, we'd go over to his house like the week of Christmas. And the church he went to would be putting on a play. I'm not religious at all. I don't believe in any of that stuff. But we went to be with my grandpa and then have fun. My mom always loved going. And I just remember going to these plays. They were always so... I don't know, I just... I, I enjoyed it. Even though I wasn't religious, I just enjoyed going. I feel like, it, though, I took it for granted most times. Like, oh, this doesn't pertain to me. Why should I pay attention to this? But now, it's as I'm older, my grandpa's passed away. The church doesn't put on the plays anymore. It's just like, wow, I really wish I could go to more of those. It, it was something, you know? I guess what I want to say is, don't take everything for granted. Don't take the people you love for granted, either. Because, you never know. Tomorrow, they might not be there. It It sucks. But you just never know. I didn't mean to turn this into something sad. I'm sorry. There we go. But yeah, go spend time with your loved ones. Don't just... Don't be a shut-in like I am. Except I do spend time with my loved ones. But that's besides the point. Actually go and do stuff with them. Then again, I hate people. I, I hate going out. It's gotten really bad since COVID started, too. Like, I'm sure I've mentioned it before, but I work at a grocery store. And we've been having a meat shortage. And that's the area I work in, of course. I get calls every day. Do you have this? Do you have this? Do you have this? I'm, I'm sorry. No, we don't. We're in the middle of a meat shortage. Fine. Click. Don't even say goodbye or nothing. People are just so rude. It's terrible. Where'd we leave the ladder? There it is. 
and I will say recently, how people treat me depend will give like if you're nice to me and you're looking for something, yeah, I'll see if we have it in the back. But if you're gonna be rude to me, no, just instantly no. We didn't get any in. No, I know it's not right, but I'm getting tired of people. It's just so ridiculous. Everyone wants things their way. If you don't do it their way, they're going to complain. I, I hate it. It's a terrible world we live in. Like, I see stuff happening all the time on Twitter. Like, oh, this person needs to apologize for the stuff they said. Like... Okay. Their opinion. On something. Or like, how dare someone say they don't like this thing that I absolutely love. Well, people have difference of opinions. and People don't understand that. I get some of the opinions are, yes, generally they should not be said at all. I, I don't want to get in discussion on a video. No, not doing that. <clears throat> but I, I'm pretty sure you understand which kind of topics I'm talking about. Those, yes, I can understand having to apologize for those, but like, I've seen people having to apologize for giving video games low scores, because they generally did not like them. Like, I'm sorry I gave this a low score, I'll do it better next time. Like, no! Don't, don't apologize. You didn't like it, why give it a higher score? I kind of touched on this at the beginning of the episode. Pokemon Legends of Arceus. It's not my type of game. I won't play it. People like it. Okay, fine. I'm not going to play it. I probably wouldn't rate it high. Or take one of the other games. Skyrim. I, I've played Skyrim. I have tried to play Skyrim multiple times. I can't get into it. I wouldn't, so I would never recommend it to someone. But then people are like, oh, you just didn't give enough chance. Yes, I did. I've tried at least eight different occasions to get into that game. Eight! That's being generous. That's more than I've given other games. I just, I can't stand it. I, I don't like that game. And here's, here's going to be one that's very controversial for people, and they're going to probably get mad at me for saying it. Witcher 3. Oh my god, this game, best game of the century. More games need to be like this. I didn't care for it. I just did not care for it. I don't know if I've actually mentioned why I stopped playing that game. Well, I, I didn't have it on the channel, but, uh... But, like, my own personal time, I played it. I remember, this is maybe two years ago, I had done this mission, I had talked to this Baron, and I was supposed to head to someplace following a marker. I passed by a swamp, and there's a cart in the swamp. So I go up and start exploring it, and it starts a side mission. And then I get attacked by a fish man. I feel like I've talked about this before, I, I don't remember if I did, apologies. But uh... <laughs> Sorry. So it's caught my throat there. But, uh, yeah. I get attacked by the fishman. I tried attacking him. He dodged. He attacked me. He, like, he swung at me. And he'd hit me. You know, I swing at him. He dodges and then immediately swings at me and hits me. I couldn't dodge because Geralt was, like, in the middle of an animation, so he didn't want to dodge. He dodged after he did the attack animation and that happened repeatedly until that guy killed me let me tell you I quit out the game and uninstalled it right then and there I did not even give it a second thought that just it pissed me off like I get that it's probably part of the game mechanics but that just it turned me off from the game so I never went back to play it Oh, you should give it another chance. Get past that part or just skip it. It it turned me off from playing that game ever again. It's 
So, sorry, I won't be ever playing Witcher 3, nor will I be recommending it to people. Because it's based on personal experience with the game. So don't attack someone based on their preferences of games. Plain and simple. Gate, rail, and wall times two. I seriously didn't finish the gate. Okay, gate. This wall. Another wall and a railing. This rail. wall Oh, I forget there's clumps of walls, so I got to check them all. Right there. I missed a bunch up there on that wall. Did you see that line? Holy cow. Yes. Great job, Dirtfinder. Scrubbed up kind of neat, didn't it? Beats just how you do it all with just a jet of angry water. Hold on a second, let me check it. Okay. I don't know why I did that. But I had, I had to hit escape in order to, you know. What is that my foot? Ah, I think it was because I got a message from a friend on Steam. He's probably like, oh, you're playing that game? <sighs> this is it right here. This is the one that everybody hates. I need fi- <laughs> Okay. Let's clean the motorbike and sidecar. You may have seen the pics of my hubby and I become the fast sidecar to compete in 24 hour. Okay, whatever. I don't care at this point. I <laughs> just started it and instantly completed something. Nice easy one. Am I getting... Huh? I hear noises like the, uh... Thing is going off, but it's not. You hear it? Too, if you went in to check on your vehicle that was being power washed, you just saw the guy crawling around on the ground. I was just thinking about that.
shop underneath. I don't have time to fit up my little poor Trixie, dude. She's all mucked up. Hey, there I am! Haha, <laughs> that's actually kind of cool. Okay. Okay. Anyways, that's going to do it for this episode of Power Wash Simulator. Thank you so much for joining me. Next time, we'll start with the SUV. Because I feel like the clean of the treehouse, I'm going to need a long time to do. So clean the SUV, see if we got anything else going. Anyways, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you guys in the next episode.